Three. Good earning the job. LeBron is good transition from offense to defense. LeBron Defense best form of attack as Lakers seek renaissance. Gritty, no-nonsense defense is not the first thing that springs to mind when assessing the NBA championship credentials of the Los Angeles Lakers. Ever since the 1980s heyday of the Showtime Lakers, the franchise has become synonymous with the kind of in-your-face flamboyance befitting a team based in the entertainment capital of the world. Yet a dismal 2021-2022 campaign has forced the Lakers to spend their preseason focusing on rebuilding a defense that last year leaked 115.2 points per game the third-worst total in the league. Two years after winning a record-equaling 17th NBA crown, last season's Lakers regressed badly, finishing with a 33-49 record and missing out on a playoff berth. A roster rebuild that saw the arrival of Russell Westbrook and the departure of several players involved in the 2020 title run was seen by many as the main reason behind the Lakers' defensive demise. Defense was the verdict of LeBron James recently when asked what areas he hoped to see the team improve this year. Obviously you've got to be able to put the ball in the hole for sure. You know in our league there's teams that can do that, James added. But teams that can defend and get stops when needed they're just simply more successful in our league. The defensive side of the floor is what we're going to be hammering home on every single day. Understanding that we can defend, make teams take tough shots, keep them to one shot at the goal, and then rebound and secure the ball puts us in position to be successful throughout the season. 360-degree basketball. Lakers coach Darvinham, meanwhile, says the Lakers' defensive problems can be solved by a holistic tactical approach, describing his coaching style as 360-degree basketball. You hear about these offensive gurus, or these defensive gurus, both sides of the ball affect one another, Ham said. If you're able to play great defense, then your offense is going to look great, because you're not playing against a set defense. If you're allowing people to score, then your offense is going to struggle because you're playing against a set defense. So you just have to be well-rounded. The Lakers have made personnel changes which reflect the emphasis on defense. The arrival of veteran Patrick Beverly gives the team an elite defender renowned for work rate and hustle. Beverly believes the Lakers lacked a wolf factor on defense last season. I don't know if they wanted to get on the floor, get dirty, scrape your knees and die for a loose ball, Beverly said at the team's recent media day. I'll do that and hopefully people will pick up from there. That's all I care about to lead by action. The other imponderable hanging over the Lakers season is the issue of whether James and Anthony Davis can maintain fitness throughout the 82-game campaign. Davis played just 36 times in 2020-2021, and only 40 times last season. James, Davis and Westbrook supposed to form a big three capable of challenging for the title last year ended up playing only 21 games together. James, who turns 38 in December, says he is prioritizing fitness above all else in what will be the 20th season of his NBA career. Just being available, that's what's most important, James at the Lakers media day last month. Obviously some injuries you can't control, but that's my whole mindset. For me, as one of the leaders of the team, availability is the most important thing in this league to be available on the floor.